Hello there, this is Ben Fournier, Benevolent Side of Quorum. Here's more Sword of Stars, apparently still third place. So I'm gonna have to mop up star systems even faster. Oh look, the Zool. Not Dana, but Zool. It's not one of the worst loading screens, I guess. There are some weirder ones. The weirdest ones I skip forward. So I don't know if I'll do that with this, only if it takes forever, which it does seem like it takes forever a little bit sometimes. System Yay, update. didn't. But everyone's probably clicked away, so everyone who's not a goldfish stayed, whatever. If anyone stayed whatsoever. Alrighty, onward to finding out what we're doing. Let's see, we probably have an enemy or armada showing up somewhere, right? Let's see, history, where's the doom next? So, raider fleet, raider fleet has been detected here. That's a raider fleet. Alright, we're supposed to do what with it? Oh joy. Build something maybe? More police cutters or what? Um, see if we can get uh, Armada and some stuff here maybe. Three, six turns, yeah and that's going to be a bit much. Oh joy. So that's a raider fleet. Great, great, great. Alrighty then. See how much next turn, two turns, squadron C and C. Okay. Oh, we still don't have these. Okay then. Now we'll have some. Well, we might lose the entire thing first, but who knows? Nine turns for those. Great. Oh well. And even more. Shipyard getting up. Yay, more stuff to do. Well let's see who's over here? Blazer and projector. Program. At least they can be there. Maybe that'll deal with that a bit. Oh well. Let's see. What's here? Armada Mark III. Got a couple things here. Let's build up that fleet a bit more, I guess. And I was planning on getting out here. Dealing with all this crap. Where's this one? Uh, that is L828. Oh, there's where we're piling up the stuff here. BB4. And they're sending ships down to L192. Interesting. Well, I will at least reduce some of their worlds on this side while they're sending more down this way. Lovely. We travel by the phase lanes and they travel through the void otherwise. So, okay. And yeah, next turn, let's see how we do. Get more stuff sorted out, I guess, either way. Come on, come on. Okay, well, one cruiser over there. And that's way more, but I think we have enough dreadnoughts to take on theirs. Let's go see how that goes. Time for the infinite loading screen of doom. Encounter it's all system. Come on, come on. Yep, it's gonna take forever again. Oh well. Come on. I do wish I had a better computer that could load this in an instant. And my stepdad, I heard from my sister anyway that 
I might have an inheritance of like 125,000 or something, though I'm sure the government will take most of it. Uh, perhaps I could buy like one Acer Nitro 5 and be able to still make gaming content when I'm homeless later. That is, if my stepdad isn't spinning it all away right before he goes, like all the other boomers are now. What to do? So I'm gonna make sure all the money goes to the rich. That's how it seems to be. From the rich to the rich and everyone else gets to be having nothing and being happy. Right. <laughs> There's a difference between greed and jealousy. Jealousy is being upset about something that should belong to you. Especially after like three years of constant physical abuse right after my dad died. But what else is there to do aside from just hope for the best and trust God will provide regardless of what everyone does to step on you. Oh well. Here we are. Yay. Time for this to end. Come on, come on. Where's the stupid cruiser? Is it? E oh, over there. That's one of these pieces of crap. Oh, Joy, three minutes to get over here. At least it's seen. Oh good, that is actually doing some damage. Maybe the station will take it out. Although the station's falling away. I mean, like, not falling, but orbiting away. So soon it'll be out of visual range. Yep, there it goes from visual range. For now. Is there a way to speed this up? Is it like the plus sign? No. Arrows? No. Brackets? I have no idea. Okay, well. Get over here. And give this thing some fire. Come on, just get this thing crispy. Here we are, almost ready to see it again. Come on, there we are. Little missile in the sights over there. Soon a whole bunch more, right? Good, finally, planetary missiles. Oh my word. Yep. It has. Yay. Alrighty, finally. Now on to their 11 dreadnoughts versus my 25 dreadnoughts at Syria. Extra crispy bugs, anyone? Goes with the territory of Dr. Evil's plans for the world, right? Extra crispy bugs for everyone. No. 
Oh, they can be crispy without being in a food source. That would be horrifying. Sentient bugs. Well, I mean, like, you know, they they can be intelligent enough to recognize a few things, even the small ones. They probably have high neuron density, like birds. But, you know, like human level intelligence, that would be just even worse. Especially if they had all the poisons and built-in swords and whatnot like they do for the small scale. That would be way worse. Anyway, here we go. As soon as it gets there, we will be there. Come on. This is my least favorite part of this game is waiting for this, but at least they have neat artwork. Space humans and space bugs. Dun dun dun. Time to finish loading the loading screen. There we are. Yay, no flagship. Is that a construction ship? Is that a dreadnought? Please be a dreadnought. Good, okay. So only those three, no other ships? This is not fun. Well, I guess we can see how these, whatever they are called, will work. Have we had the Mark III's here yet? They're shipping their Maison trap as well. as we can. Yeah, the Alfred Vesters are going to be useless against all that stuff. That is, but it needs to fry as well. Come on, fry, buggy, fry! Fry! This is very much like that uh, speech Rutger Hauer gave in um, Blade Runner about the Q beams slicing through the ships like tears in the rain. Extra crispy tears. Oh, that doesn't look good. That needs more doing. Fire already. And this thing. Nuke it. Whatever those are, nuke it. Those need more fire and so does that.
get over here. Speed. Don't know what it is, but it needs more fire. Oh, this one is not great, really. Dang it. Yeah, more fighting next time, System I guess. Update. Hyper cultural details entering database. Okay, so we have that stuff. Alright, any more weapons or stuff? Commerce rating, they search that out. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, research that. We may yes, have to Commander, try the diplomatic uh, route with them. Project. If we can't get it the other way. I think we can. It's just a matter of doing it fast enough. Oh my word. All right. Yeah, these guys Aye, should sir. combine there. Yeah, we got that. Need to... Let's see. Wow, these have a whole bunch of different ranges. Oh, oh well. And they went all the way over there somewhere, right? Down to... There was another world they were traveling to, right? Okay. Uh, these look like they're okay for now. Going to send them up here. Course plotted. Engaging node drive. And send the ones who are here. You know, let's combine all these fleets. I hope I don't regret it, but okay. We have a flagship there. Cool. So that's just one fleet now, right? Alright, move you here to Alpha Crucis. Okay, and let's see here. What do we have at the home world? That's not it. This one is. Okay. So we're still building. Building, building, building. Keep that crap up building. Yep, they're slow. It has become slow. Great. Okay, well, yeah, let's just go next turn and see how battles will go. See how the battles will go. Come on, come on, nuke it from orbit, yeah. Yep, six cruisers versus my 23, and one cruiser versus my 27. I mean, dreadnoughts, dreadnoughts. Serie A, again. Psychor 85 versus the Mad Brood of Doom. And the maddening part is waiting for the loading screen to end. And now everyone has no patience anymore for anything. That's always a joy. So much joy. Although in live streams, I've noticed others will actually wait regardless. But it does seem to help to have someone at least stay there, so others will stay as well. It's like checking out at a store. One person goes through the register and then everyone else on the floor shows up as well. Going in batches like that, just everyone following a leader. Make a bunch of geese. 
Spell will. Onward. Come on. Canada geese, that is. Come on. Let's move it. I think my computer is getting even slower than me, somehow. Just a little bit. Alright, here we are with more doom. Okay. So, how much did we lose? I don't know, but... Yeah, let's keep moving things up here. Yeah, the joy. The Alfred Besters of uselessness. Well, not for the propaganda machine, but otherwise. Alright. Come on, let's go. Have to make some bugs nice and crispy. Where are they? Okay, going oh, toward where right there's off. the missile fire. Okay, there's first catch of the day. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, that's not so good. I'm getting a crisp that gateway before they keep sending in more crap. Have to stop them from having a stargate in my system. So the next round they can't just flood it either. Okay, now whatever this one is. seconds and there's still more crap somewhere somewhere seven six five four two one dang it still a couple more but at least there's stargates crispy all right at von mon and star now yay So, is this where like all the clogs are made? 
And can we just like use a giant trebuchet to launch the clogs into the machines of the mad brood? Be like, you need some sabots. Who knows? Anyway, onward to my lameness. And more than just my humor, of course. Whenever it gets around to seeing about feeling like it might want to do something, here's hoping I have a fleet there and not just a planet to be crispy. I didn't look at the menu to see what it was, but yay, here's hoping. Hoping, 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 always more hoping, right? Yay. Okay. So where's the enemy armada? Oh my word, 12 ships of the Hivers to... They're here? That's them? Ah, the joy. Well, more at Serie A. I think we have enough to deal with most of them. Mostly. Ah, oh, great, we can only do a little bit of repairs, that sucks. Alfred Bester, as useful as that is. Aye, sir. Okay, Procyon, how are you doing? Procyon is also next to nothing. This one is next to nothing, well, nothing, nothing, actually. Epsilon Indy also has nothing, Epsilon Eridani, nothing, Ubisetti, nothing, Tau Seti, absolutely nothing, what the heck? Come on, there should be something at Tau Seti. Ah well, next turn, good, we have some capacity for building stuff there, awesome. We need more built, more, more! Come on. All right. Shipyards getting up. Then Monon Star. At least we got a fair bit done. <sighs> Come on. Still need to get my armadas going. There's something over there. Set. Uh, we only have one dreadnought there. 
that's not good but we also have that couple of them showing up then next to nothing there nothing there Uh, the Joy Assault Shuttles, that's going to not do much. So they're clogging up, up this world. <sighs> well, that sucks. I guess that's one of the more destroyed worlds that they're going after. Okay. Now well, this has a couple fleets I can send over here. Might be too Fleet late by the out. time they get there. Here's hoping not. Navigation set course. I don't know, but we shall see. Sooner or later, time will tell. Biome colonizer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where would be a good place for them? Send them over here. Engines to power, aye. Okay. And they are stuck. That I've already tried repairing, right? Yep. At Siri A. All these useless Alfred Besters. Where where where? Forward. Okay. Maybe send something over Rise there. Let's try. Let's see how that goes. I guess might lose some things that would stink. But I'll start my next playthrough with the birds. If I do lose something. Four dreadnoughts versus eighteen. Five dreadnoughts versus three. Ugh. Uh, two dreadnoughts versus three. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, four dreadnoughts versus four, also not very good. Oh well. Here we go. More battles. Yeah, I think I'll be done after this, regardless how it goes. It does take a little bit of time, and you really need to build up your fleets and have everything ready everywhere at once. Maybe at least like five dreadnoughts in every system would be good. But yeah, once I get my flagship fleet steamrolling through the tracks, it should go faster if they don't take out all my other worlds at the same time. But yeah, they'll be cut off hopefully, and I can just keep building a larger fleet at the Home Star system at the least. So yeah, maybe, maybe. See how that goes. Come on, already. Should have everything mostly loaded anyway. Ah well, here we are. We are here. Okay. Get it. I full power to engines. Come on. Well, here we go again. See, is it bugs or the tracks? It's the mad bird, it's bugs. Okay, right. Don't see how I forget that all the time.
that one little hornet thing of something. Wow, extra crispy. at Arby's. Come on. Yeah, this is over after this set of three more battles. Which I'm probably going to lose the last couple of them, or at least one of the last couple of them. We shall see though. Probably depends on how quickly I can take out their turrets. Yay, I have shields that are so useful, right? Okay.
left, I might be able to get this crap. Cruiser is toast as soon as this is gone though. Unless they have more dreadnoughts. But yeah, get that maze on beam, I think that's what it might be. Alright, now time for the gateway. Up do make it nice and toasty. It's just not their day. The next couple ones are, but this one isn't. Here we go. Yay. Alright, just a few thousand more to go. The Tarkins, the uh, Drax, Tarkins, what? Come on. Come on. Here we go. And yeah, I am frustrated that it takes so long to load. It's part of the game though, at least for my computer. I really do wish I had a cooler computer, but I don't. But if it can run on my system, it can probably run on yours. Unless you have a literal potato. This is just a metaphorical potato. Sure seems like it some days though. Come on. Yep. Oh well. Drink more water. Always drink more water. There is a limit of course, just it's always better to make sure you're hydrated. Reduce the risk of problems otherwise. Yay. And no, I'm not a doctor or anything. It's just obvious advice for anyone. It's easily searchable. Oh no, what do I have here? What's all this business? Oh great. This is gonna be a bad day, right? Oh joy. Okay. Yep. Great. You heard the man. Get this ship moving. Joining attack Get out of there, you idiot. <sighs> well, they're gone. This one looks like a command ship. Get their midsection, make it toasty. Not much else we can do. We already lost the destroyers because, of course, we did.
ship's gone or nope it just took away from it. Okay. Enjoy it the rest of the way, please. Alright, now your turn to go. Go away already. Good, three. One less enemy soon. Good, three. This should win though. Even if the Armada's ship is lost, it'll still have enough planetary missiles probably. Yeah, good boy. Fifteen seconds though. That's another boy. Get this already! Come on! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Really? Really? Great. Well, I guess I'll see if I can bring more ships over there. This one's gonna go badly though. Probably badly anyway. Yay. Let's see. Let's see. Ah well. I need to reposition all the fleets way better, especially on the worlds closest to the enemy ones, but hopefully my flagship fleet will be able to take out a fair ton of theirs that are on the border, and the rest of them, just gotta steamroll them, get it, the steamroll going. It's just a matter of time and patience, sort of, along with protecting what's there, which is not what I'm doing so well since all my other ships are getting ready to do the steamrolling. Ships swarm in one location so you don't have as many elsewhere. So I need to do a better thing of managing the fronts I guess. And the bugs have an endless front everywhere but they're slow so you can sort of outpace them. But yeah, they have the best economy though so they can just keep on spamming. Yay. This is not going to go well. Three versus three or four, right? Yeah, let's just go. Oh, the joy. And it's still my world for the moment, but... Let's get it. Yeah, command ships first. Let's get it. Crispy already, come on, crispy. Well, not my world, their thing. Right here, right now. Nuke it. Make it toasty, extra toasty. Good, then another one. Whatever this thing is, it needs more fire, right? Around here. Aim there, where that narrow hook one is. What they're doing, oh no! Hit the midsection, break it in half. Come on, half. Come on, make everything nice and toasty. Alright, what's your problem? You need more fire? Here's more fire. Yeah, 
another one? There's another one. Oh well. This one's the closest. It needs more fire and we got it. I might actually be able to get it. Okay, now your turn. Another freaking command ship, right? Toast it. Smoke it. Fry it. Burn it. Come on. Make it nice and crispy. Here's the last one. I can't believe we're actually winning. It looks like we're winning anyway, I think. Come on. How much fire do you need? Happily, happily, happily onward. Extra. Crispy! Oh, come on! Wow, that's not good for my world, but... Oh, really? There's more somewhere? There's something over there, right there. They don't use a gate ship, but they must have something. Oh, they're in panic mode. It's like, eh, we saw what happened to those dreadnoughts. Let's not bother. Well... Let's just follow these guys, I guess. Come on. Maybe the planetary missiles will get it before I even get there. That'd be funny. Extra crispy at a distance. Now it should be. But, I mean, the battles do look cool though. Winning at least. Not so much when failing, but yeah. Yay! We won! Woo! System update. That was surprising. Ships incoming. Uh, I cultural details entering database. Yay. Okay. What's this? A dictiver and all this sort of stuff? Yeah, I'll pick it later. Anyway, game over, man. Game over. Turn 199. Extra lame. I know. Because I'm the one that's lame, of course. Anyway, take care and try not to go crazy. <laughs>